So, welcome back. You're probably wondering why this series is called The Journey to the Drop-Off. I'm dropping people off along the way, but not, not a school bus driver, but you know what I'm saying? This is simply just like a self, self-improvement journey, not only personally, but in basketball as well. Not only am I dropping off my older self, previous past self, becoming a better new person, but also it's dropping off people in basketball too. That's quite simply what it is. So the idea to start this series actually, and y'all probably know him because back a while back when I first started YouTube, this time I collabed with a dude named Matthew, the Greensboro kid, something like that. And we did like a um, kind of like a big conglomerate collab video of like new and upcoming content creators who play basketball. Not 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 YouTube hoopers, hoopers on YouTube. Big difference. So we did that collab video um, just so showcasing some of the up and coming talent. You might recognize uh, Jumpman Jimmy. He's in there. But I digress. He had a uh, I forgot what the name of the video series was, but it was basically his journey as well. He'd play 1v1 against people and do his thing, really. Kind of doing the same thing, um, but it's, it's less 1v1 and just basketball in general. It's going to have some workouts in there, random hooping talks, me talking and hooping and all that. And then, you know, what y'all all came for, the 1v1s, the 5v5s, the team stuff. That's what it's going to be. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Where'd I get the name Chris Can Hoop? Honestly, so first I'm a music producer, okay? I make beats and stuff. I've been doing that since like probably eighth or ninth grade, but I actually started like taking it seriously, uploading the Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. Right in the, I wouldn't say the middle of the pandemic, it was like December, 2020. That's how it started. So my producer slash beat making name is Shaijo, C-H-A-I-J-O. Oh, and it came up with like this funky, weird, eclectic, it's almost like a, a Japanese type name. So, Chris and Hoop, I didn't want to do like, Sha it was Shaijo TV at one time, but that was because I was mixing in the music plus the everything else. So I was just like, okay, let's, what can it be? Shifty Chris, I do play Shifty, but like that's, that's too generic. And honestly, I wanted something that represented me. I can hoop, that's, it's quite simple. And so people know what they're coming here for is what that, the purpose, the purpose of that was. How long have I been playing basketball? Longer than some of y'all viewers and subscribers have been alive. So I've been playing basketball since I was like three. There's even like old footage of me playing basketball. I was like back patio, Fisher's Price hoop with like the miniature ball. Um, there's even like, <laughs> my mom has all the videos, but it's me getting dropped off my dad. That dude is intimidating. But how I got into hooping for content. I got a shout out to Devontae Frika because honestly, like <laughs> that that's who started it for me, the content, because Frega was doing his thing. And this, this was when Frega was way smaller. I think I messaged him at one point saying, hey, you know, let's let's play 1v1. At the time, Frega would have dusted me like Thanos, but I don't even know, bro. It was it was simply just like, hey, let's I think it was like a promo type thing. It may have been like a let's, you know, but from there, this was right before COVID started. I think we were supposed to play 1v1 or something. Um, this is when he was like hooping with Hollywood Magic. I'll put his channel up here. Magic, he, he plays in Austin. Okay, that's like 20 minutes away from me, so that'd be an easy drive, but COVID happened. I'm a high-risk individual, I got asthma, so couldn't do that. And then I just started training my brother. That was really where it started. And so uploaded the training with him and the different workouts we did and then 1v1s we played because I mean we really couldn't go anywhere because our city was constantly on a, on a stage four or stage five almost because people did not want to stay home so from there it really was just uh let's let's train him up see how good he can get kind of like dev dev was playing with like germ and all of them and just staying in shape so that's what I was doing to stay in shape but it became a let's let's train him up let's get him get him icy and he is, I'm glad to say after like four years of training, after four years of training, he's, he's, he finally beat me the other day, mostly cause I had, I had already went to like the local court and worked out for two hours, but that's no excuse. He beat me. Um, he about to turn 18. So that's kind of cool too. But um, that's what it started out as. It's just me playing against him, creating content, training him. Now it's just me like, okay, let me train myself. 
Of, I already, I guess we already discussed the meaning, but it's really just a play on words. <laughs> it really is just a play on words. I used to write poetry a lot back in the day, so it's, it's a play on words, it's word play. So on every journey, especially if you're climbing mountains, there's a drop off point, which is usually a cliff. So journey to the drop off is like, okay, we're going right up to that. Let's see how far we can go, right? Not falling over the edge and falling off or dropping off. But also let's let's see like how far it can go, right? But journey to the drop off is also like okay, this is my journey, but I'm also dropping folks off and you know beating them essentially at the same time. Um, then there's also another aspect: ah, wordplay, double entendres, Eminem, probably nah. Life is a journey in general. I'm I'm just here to learn and to teach. I don't really care about a lot of people who care more about the money and the fame. This is just like creativity and me being me. So it's it's more of a journey until I drop off. Not off the face of the earth. Well, essentially, because I'm not going to do content for it. Everybody has a drop off point in their careers, their lives. So just see how far I can go as long as I can. So this is technically episode two. So the, the intro episodes, episode 1.1 1 .1 is like the trailer for the first 1v1. Episode 1.2 1 is the actual 1v1. And then this is episode two. Right, this will be like the interview explaining what's going on. I may rearrange them, edit this down. This may be episode one. Don't don't listen to me on that. Bear with me, give me some time. I do my own edits and everything. I mix, master, record, flip it and reverse it. That's that's me. I do it all, okay? Um, so bear with me a little patience because that's it, it just takes a while. What equipment am I going to use? So I have a mini tripod here. This has my 4K camera on it. Shout out TikTok shop. This camera is actually really good. Um, this is a, um, a lapel mic, which is connected to my phone, which is over here, which is recording the other angle. I record the 1v1s on my phone because for some reason, this camera, the, um, the IO ports on here, they don't support the external mic like this. So it's, it's recording from the, the live mic uh, audio right now. But this one, my phone, it's a Galaxy S23 Plus. So really good camera, I can shoot up to 8K. I don't record in 8K because goodness, rendering and editing, and once you edit something, you have to re-render it again for it to not go so choppy. It's just too much. So I record in, in 4K, 2K and 4K on here uh, for the 1v1s. I have a magnetic tripod that I just magnet to the opposite side of the court, zoom in a little bit, put it on 4K record but the lapel mic record it's like a mic'd up everything will be mic'd up when it comes to, to the games um, and i'll use this for like interviews and stuff like that just because it's simpler i don't have to hold a mic i was going to hold it for the aesthetic but it, it kind of would have been pointless um, but all my equipment it will be linked uh, down below i have like a six plus foot tripod that i can extend and stuff like that it's getting all the angles yeah man i'm just excited to see where this goes to be honest and I'm just gonna have fun with it. It is more like having fun. I really could care less about the money, the whatever that comes with it, but it's it's more about having fun. I like the game of basketball. I've been playing multiple sports my entire life, basketball, soccer, tennis. So just seeing how all that cross training can push me forward in basketball. And also there'll be some workout stuff in there too, because journey to the drop off. So that, that's more components, it's not just basketball it's not just tennis it's not just weightlifting and working out it's like a whole thing it's also me getting back in shape because you know i just got married so happiness weight is a real thing i've only gained like six pounds but also you know there's a lot of other stuff going on too so stress but i weigh like 195 right now so kind of heavy but once i get back to like 180 175 it's wraps okay i've been dunking since i was like 5 8 in high school senior year so so it'll just be interesting to see how things go from there. Um, I'm not gonna try to dunk anymore because I wanna preserve my knees as long as possible, but um, I will continue to play a shift if possible. But yeah, cool, we done here? I'm only here because my lawyer told me to be here. I can go, peace.